Josh with Kiapa Firearms. I'm going to go over a little bit about the Kiapa Rhino and 357 Mag. The weapon was designed to be a carry concealed weapon. It's uh, it's innovative because it's firing from the six o'clock position of the of the cylinder instead of the twelve. What this is doing is putting the force into alignment with the me more meteor part of the body that can handle the force of the recoil better. You're not this it totally eliminates eliminates muzzle flip. And what you're gonna have in 357 mag is a, a drastically decreased felt recoil. And uh, it's it's a joy to fire. I encourage everybody to give them a shot. Uh, what makes them another another thing that makes them very different is that the hammer actuator here at the top is not the hammer. It will go back forward after pulling into single action. And you can decock it just like a standard revolver. But when firing in double action, the hammer actuator will not move. It was designed to be a carry conceal weapon. It will not snag on the coat pocket or the interior of the purse. Because of the reduction in muzzle flip and felt recoil, um, target shooters are very interested in them. So we're designing models that are larger for the target shooting uh, uh, customers. Uh, we have three different stage kits for the weapon. Um, the, the trigger pull that you're going to experience on one of the target models is approximately four pounds in double action. Uh, on the standard models, the, the defensive carry models, it's closer to about a 10 pound double action trigger pull, but it has a very short stroke. And in single action, there is absolutely zero over travel. Uh, it's, it's amazing, very innovative, very different design. It's incredibly comfortable to carry as a carry concealed weapon because of the, the, the flat sides of the cylinder. It brings the profile down quite a bit. Supremely comfortable to carry. All the two inch models come with a, a holster for concealed carry. Uh, the larger size will be out shortly. Currently not available. The, the two inches have been on the market for approximately six to seven months. Um, they're a joy to shoot. I, I encourage anybody who's recoil sensitive or has had issues with 357 Max in the past, try them out and see what they have to think.